Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as previously posted, Microsoft Designer is available as a standalone web app on its dedicated website. And in case you're unaware what Designer is all about, just for the purpose of this video, it's an AI-powered visual creation and photo editing app that helps you generate um, custom images, stickers, greeting cards, and more with just your words. And if you want um, more info, just do a search on the channel because I have posted a couple of videos uh, previously regarding Microsoft Designer. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft has recently announced on the 3rd of February that it has now added Microsoft Designer into Microsoft Photos. So if we head over to Microsoft Photos, and this would apply to both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So if we head into the Photos app, how you can access Designer is you would just click and double click on one of your images. And yeah, at the top, you'll see Edit with Designer. You've got some other options, OneDrive, you've got um, create a video with Microsoft ClipChamp and edit with designer. I have actually noticed this a while back, but Microsoft has officially announced this yesterday, as mentioned on the 3rd of February, 2025. So just making you aware of this in case uh, you were unaware. Now, just to kind of have a quick overview and a run through as to what Microsoft designer can do in the photos app, just a brief overview. So basically, yeah, you'll see You've got all your different options to the left-hand side here in the sidebar. So just a couple of things you can try um, with this designer feature in the Photos app. You've got generative arrays. So if we click on Selective Edit, you can erase unwanted distractions like photo bombers and so on. But just take note though that I have not noticed that if I want to click on generative arrays or move or color pop, that I need a Microsoft 365 subscription. So there is a bit of a catch with this. So I'm just bringing this to your attention. So if you have a 365 subscription, personal family subscription, obviously um, this will work for you. I don't. And you can view the plans here according to Microsoft. So. So just making you aware of that. And then other things you can do is you've got text. You can add uh, text. You can mock up. You've got visuals where you can, you know, add stickers and images and icons and so on. And you've got layers. So that's just a quick kind of overview, guys. As mentioned, there is a bit of a catch with this. Um, if you want to use generative arrays and move and the AR features of it, you need a 365 subscription for that. And if you haven't seen this yet, just head to the Microsoft Store and make sure that your app is up to date. Because according to Microsoft, these designer AI-powered um, capabilities, as they're calling it in photos, are available with a personal Microsoft account and the following Windows app version update. So if we head to our settings, you need to be on at least 2024 point one one zero seven zero point one two double zero one point zero now you can see i'm past that i'm on triple one two zero point five zero one zero point zero so i've got a newer version than what is required so as mentioned i had noticed this a little while ago so um but microsoft only made the announcement yesterday so just bringing that to your attention that designer is now part and parcel of the Microsoft Photos app if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.